Hello everyone! Let's talk about the mill flores during the rainy season. Do they go dormant like in the winter season? When should we propagate them to get lots of blooms during the next summer? Why is it called endless summer? What is old wood and new wood? Let's discuss! When I watch videos about hydrangeas, melflores, mopheads, the videos are usually from coming from the United States, from the US, or from the UK. And they have a very different season there. So they have their fall and winter and then spring and then summer. So when we look at the videos, um, that's what they talk about, how their hydrangeas um, go d dormant during the winter season and how they protect it and how their hydrangeas, you know, loses their leaves and all those things uh, during the winter. But here in the Philippines, what we have is simply rainy season and the summer season. So for us, during this um, months of September, October, November, December, you can see that we can see that our hydrangeas are still growing. They're actually um, putting on a lot of growth right now. So we need to do different things and take care of our plant in a different way. So, but how? There are not a lot of resources online for this. So in this month of October, I'm actually debating if I can uh, cut some of this, these stems, some of the new growth. I'm seeing a lot of new growth here. This is a new growth, you can see. And this is a stem that didn't flower yet. So it's a best candidate for cutting and propagation. But at the same time, if I do that now, will I risk not having blooms this coming summer season? So I don't want to do that. And then this this plant here is actually pretty new. So this this was planted last summer. So we can say that this is this coming summer will be its first year. So I don't want to aggressively cut this. I want to give it time to you know grow and I want to have lots of blooms on this plant and the other plant this summer so I want to take care of them first I don't want to do a lot of cuttings for propagation because my aim is to have a lot of um, hydrangea blooms this summer so that when you look at this garden and you enter this area we should be seeing a lot of blooms from this pot and this pot so you know there's a trade-off between wanting to have more plants propagating more hydrangeas or having a wonderful beautiful hydrangea pot this coming summer season so these are the things that i've been you know thinking about the past few days and when i went to tagaytay i was actually surprised to see a lot of um, hydrangeas blooming and then I asked if they bloom all season long and they said yes but I want to follow the natural um, season for this plant so the question is um, do they really go dormant um, here in the Philippines or can it really bloom the whole season since we don't have winter but then I realized that, you know, it's called um, milliflores, million flowers, because, because it has a million flowers. And I think this is also called endless summer because, you know, get, you get blooms the entire summer season. And that's because this plant, this uh, kind of hydrangea, this type of hydrangea blooms on both old wood and new wood. So from the old wood, it means during this season october november december january the old wood is actually developing buds for the next season so okay let's find a, an old wood first so an old wood is this one you can see it's already color brown as opposed to this one which is color green so this one is still considered a new wood for for now at least 
those ones and this one see it's brown and then green so i think by the time we enter the summer season this area here will also turn brown and this will become an old wood so i think this is a very good example so for this one this is considered an old wood wood can you see those buds there so you see the stem and those buds these green buds here those will grow stems these will branch out in the summer and those branches will produce the flower for the start of the season for the start of the summer so definitely we will not cut this because if you cut that branch if you cut this you're cutting out these buds that will produce the first flowers of next summer so that's what you call old wood and the first set of flowers will be coming from those old wood let's try to find some old wood so this one um, this is already considered an old wood so i'm actually expecting that this um coming summer or maybe january february these will all turn brown and these buds here those are the flower buds that are being developed for the early summer blooms okay so those are old wood and then there are some stems here that I don't know what to treat them. Can we consider them as old wood or new wood? Because new wood should be new stems coming out this uh, next summer, right? So I'm assuming all of this um, growth that we're experiencing now, by the time we hit uh, summer of next year, they will all be considered old wood. But let's let's observe that. So what I did here was like for example this one. This is so green, right? And you can see that that's so green. These are new growth this year. But by the time we hit summer of next year, how will we consider this? So my question is for now, can I cut this? Can I cut this and propagate it? But you know, I want to be conservative. I don't want to lose uh, potential flowers, potential blooms this coming summer season. So I'm just going to, for this year, I'm going to observe since this plant is new. I'm going to observe how they turn out uh, by around January or February next year. So also this one, it looks so good to cut. Perfect stem to cut. It's considered new wood this October. But next year, what will it be? So will this be producing new flowers first set of flowers for this summer i'm not sure so what i did i put a lot of i put a lot of these yarns i put these yarns to observe them so the stems with these yarns there's another yarn i've marked these new growth this year so i will know what will happen to them by summer of next year and then i can conclude if i can cut them um around the october november december uh, season for propagation and, it, and it's not gonna have an effect or an impact on the blooms in the summer so let's see let's see let's study that you know this is um the good thing about um about these plants we can study them and we can learn from them from our own experience if we can find the resources um to research on you know not to to have answers to our questions so i've marked those um with the yarns okay so let's talk about the uh, new wood the concept of the new wood so new woods are basically that those one green but they are considered new wood at the start of the summer season so this this is like a twilight zone around october so we don't know yet the definition of this one so let's say for example it's the start of the summer season there will be a lot of new growth and from that new growth it's called new wood 
and these and these are characterized by the green stems they will be producing the flowers for late summer that's why it's called endless summer because the first half of the summer the old wood will be producing the flower buds you remember from that brown stem there are buds coming out so from this um, brown stem the, those uh, buds will branch out and then produce the flowers branch out produce the flowers that's the old wood the concept of the new wood is while the old wood will be producing the flowers new wood new new growth will be coming out and these are considered the new wood and then so there will be a lot of new wood so don't touch them during the summer new wood will be coming out and then produce flower heads here so from this new growth flower head will be form forming and they will be forming towards the end of the summer so you have two sets from the old wood and then blooms from the new wood and that's why it's called end the summer if you look at this one you can see that there's a cut here last year this produced a flower and i deadheaded it so i deadheaded it up to here just below the flower head only and now you can see this is still green this is still green but this is old wood because this already bloomed from last year right so i'm expecting this to turn brown the main by summer of next year and these buds here again will form branches form branches and they will be our first bloom for next summer so let's observe that let's see what's going to happen next summer do you remember the propagation the first propagation video that i did i'll put a link um so i cut here and remember when i cut it i cut it just below the buds find that stem young stem and then go to the lowest um, set of leaves um you can find there if you can see the tiny thing there's that's buds waiting growth buds waiting to come out for next season so cut just below that and then look i cut it there and then you can see that there's new buds coming here so it's okay to cut them and you will still see growth it will it will force the this stem to put growth so this will become um our you know this will become our new growth for next season so those are just my thoughts about um how to take care of your hydrangeas during the rainy season and what to expect um but these are mostly based on experiences from the u.s or the uk or other countries but not really from the philippines i couldn't find a lot of resources on that so i'm speculating i'm sharing with you my thoughts if you think I got it wrong, then please um, let me know if you find resources about um, male flowers in the Philippines. Um, please uh, share them with me. I'd be happy to discuss about this because, you know, these are wonderful plants and we want to learn for, we want to learn how to take care of them so that we get, we get a lot of blooms this summer season. So that's it. That's, that's it for now. And let's learn together and i'm so excited for the summer of next year and i hope there will be no storm that will that will damage these plants and i hope they grow well and i really really hope we get get nice blooms this coming summer season thank you